Hey guys, I'm Steve, and today I'm going to talk about a route and method of farming a few spots that my guildmates and I have been using to farm for Felblight. So let's get started. The way you get Felblight is by herbing, mining, or skinning mobs and nodes in Tanan Jungle. To maximize the chance of getting Felblight, I'll be farming the spot on my rogue for skinning, and I'll be in a party with a guildmate who has herbing and mining. I do recommend being in a party with at least one other person for this farm. These mobs can hit hard and they're densely packed, so you could get overrun quickly, especially if you're undergeared. Take the flight path to Vault of the Earth, just south of the Hellfire Citadel raid. We'll be farming counterclockwise in a path similar to this. Basically this farm consists of killing raptors and snakes. If you can, avoid killing the small raptors because they're not skinnable. The trick is to know how far you can pull the mobs and how much you can handle. Luckily I'm farming with a blood DK, so pulling a lot isn't a big issue. If you're able to, pull the bats that are flying around. They're skinnable and drop items that can summon a rare mob. If you are following this path, there are two caves you should enter. The first cave has a few raptors to skin and a rare that is also skinnable. The second has four skinnable mobs near the entrance. When you exit the second cave, make sure to stay to the north end of these large trees. The only thing on the south end are non-skinnable snakes. Stay along the east coast and work your way up north to where you started, and that's the route. We were lucky and didn't have any competition, so when we got back to the starting point, the mobs had already begun to respawn. A few things to keep in mind if you'll be farming this area. There are pairs of patrolling raptors, so don't forget about them, and be smart about how far you pull them so they don't evade out. Don't forget about the bats that are flying around. Sometimes you might get lucky and get a plus 5 fell blight, and it might just come from the bat. If you'd rather farm alone, go to the second cave on the two-person route and farm there. Kill the skitters at the top and work your way to the bottom, killing the skitters all the way to the water. Keep in mind there is a rare that spawns in this cave, so you might have trouble with competition, or if you're on a PvP server with ganking. Make sure to run Supreme Lord Kazik on each tune every week. He drops between 5 and 20 Felblight and can drop 705 item level gear. I keep track of my runs using Google Docs. Using these farming routes with two people, I was able to get on average 25 Felblight an hour, and solo, I was able to average 17. Keep in mind, like most things in WoW, this spot is RNG based, so you'll have good hours and bad ones. Thanks a lot for checking out this farming guide. I'll be sure to do more in the future, but for now, check out my previous guide on farming Ice Crown Citadel trash for cloth and gold. Thanks again. Do you think that these crabs will accept us as one of their own yet? <laughs> one of us.